Hi! Today I'm here with a little bit of different things than usual my bullet journal um, plan with me video. So today I want to talk about our um, 2021 project um, calendar. This is the one. So this is the one that I want to talk about today. So back in the like December or January of the 2021, we tried to find like suitable calendar for us. We know we have iPhone, iPad and everything that we can put our schedule on, but we think we do need like physical calendar that we can hang on a wall so that we can just see it and like know where we are at without our phone or computer or whatever. Um, but nothing was too appealing to us. So then I found this notebook. This one is like older one. We bought it when we were in Korea for whatever reason. Um, and this one says it's like drawing book, but it's like children's drawing book. And obviously it's a little bit small. So we just thought that we can draw our own calendar with this one. So we just casually started to work on this. So yeah, that's what we're talking about today. Um, welcome if you're new here. My name is Marie and I usually post my um, bullet journal video here on my channel or something else like today is obviously something else. Um, and if you like those things, please do hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And without further ado, let's get into it. So let's hop into the January. So this one was painted by me, Marie, hi. Um, so in January, that's when I first started my bullet journals and like start to know how to doodle, like paint because I never painted before. Um, I started my bullet journal. So back then I didn't have any watercolor paints. So all I had was the Crayola marker, um, which one is like this one. What I started um, and this, these were the first one that I bought. Um, so I try to draw the things I like, um, especially in the winter. So snowmen obviously and snowflakes and the um, pigeon. I like birds so I um, put pigeons and of course wine should be there as well as the beer and this one stands for my bullet journal um, and what was it? I believe this one is for my dog who are here, Yuffie and Lulu, because their birthday is, um, so Yuffie's first day is January the 1st and Lulu's birthday is January the 2nd. So it's our family tradition to celebrate their birthday as well as the new year. So this one is for that. And um, this one is my cat, Mew, who really likes to watch um, out of the window. This is, rice cake soup. This is Korean traditional food and this is typical tradition uh, for us to eat the New Year's um, breakfast. I don't like it, um, but really my husband really likes it. Um, and <laughs> I don't know how to draw like rice cake soup properly so that's what I have for that um, and of course a little bit of sweetie things so that was my January and for the actual calendar so this is mainly for um, my schedule because my schedule is everywhere um, so it's for us and my husband to figure out what shifts that I'm on I'm mainly and let's move on to the February. This one is was done by my husband Francis. Um, I don't know. He had a this big dream to have a house <laughs> because back then 
in Washington State, we were living in an apartment and um, it was very convenient to leave um, because you have the management and everything, but it's not like like a house like our house um so he draw like dream house i like this painting it's like done by um 10 year old kid um and i would never paint my house like this um but and uh, my husband put every story is beautiful but ours is my favorite oh, how sweet um, so move on to the March. I believe I wasn't really busy um, at the end of the February or I was really occupied in um, my applying for residency. So I supposed to do this one, but my husband did it for me. Um, and this one is actually our house back in Korea. We sold it to come here in US. Um, so he put reminiscent and yeah, this one is our house back in Korea. Um, it was like a town house. So it's it was not that pretty, but this one was also our first house in Korea. And this one was our car. It's a mini convertible. Um, mini was my dream car for a long, long, long time. And then back then, I both me and Francis had a decent job, so we were able to buy this car, and we loved this car. Um, but of course, to move here, we sold this our car too, and we actually cried when we sold this car. I miss this car a lot, and it's my new dream to buy mini convertible again once we all have a like decent job in here. Um, yeah, this one is very reminiscent of our happy um, history so I really like this one um, in April so I started my watercolor painting back in March so I was like doing like a lot of things um, to figure out how watercolor works and this one is like alphabet a stands for april with a little bit of a flower now this paper is um not at all for the watercolor it's a little bit thicker than usual notebook paper but um it's not good for like watercolor at all so i had a little bit of a hard time like mixing colors there is no like good gradient between colors but I really like this like pink alphabet A but I had to use a lot of pink watercolor to make this opacity so I mainly used this color to achieve this one I will link this down below I just found out let's treat. So what's that, you know? Huh? Treats? Let's treats. What? I don't know. Treats. 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 Let's treats. I don't know. Treats? Um, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> treats. Oh, huh, weird. And this one is Francis again. And this one so our dogs are Britney's and this one's Yuffie, this one's Lulu and we were um, looking for Britney merch to like have our car stickers or whatever like it says Britney mom but we found out this um, illustrate and down there may the Britney be with you <laughs> so you know it's a May so um, he put May the fourth would be with you, but instead of force, he put Britney. We love Britney's. They are perfect dog. They are really decent size for us. They are not too big, not too small, and even though they have um, full of energy and they need lots of activity, they are really sweet and cuddly at the same time. We love them so much. 
and this one is for Jen and I painted this back then I was really obsessed with how to paint light like especially the sunlight so I was ex experimenting that and yeah I th I had a little bit hard time painting this but I think I liked the sunlight effect of this I think and again the paper this um, paper is not good for a watercolor I painted this on like proper watercolor paper and um, cut it and pasted it on it I like it um, <laughs> it's gone there's nothing this was for July this so we moved from Pacific Northwest to Texas and we um, drove here we have two cars so we had to drive each car um, it took like five or six days um, and it was crazy so like preparing for moving and after like actual moving we had to like clean this house up buying like tons of furniture so and I didn't work like most of the time of July so we didn't really need because this calendar was mainly for like putting down my schedule so nothing for July obviously and for August of course we moved to Texas um so yeah <laughs> we put, uh, my husband Francis um painted Texas like it's our location ish so we are more on the south and um east side of the Texas obviously so you may notice my husband the um drawing or painting is usually very simple but very effective um very effective in storytelling and usually very colorful obviously um and move on to september so i believe for the month of september my bullet journal theme was like evening sky or like sky and twilight time um so i just used the same thing here in september or maybe it was the theme of august but yeah um i painted it with gouache painting um no i painted it with gouache paint um and to this date, I'm still struggling with having a perfect gradient. I, I think you can see little strikes when you're supposed to have a really smooth gradient. So that's what I am working on if I have time. Um, and next, move on to the October. This was done by um, Francis. He wanted to express the um, changes upon time so this supposed to these two is supposed to be a same tree and like summer it's full of life um the lots of leaves and mama bird and baby birds um, and the sunflowers one of my uh one of Francis's favorite flowers and uh, this one when you have when your trees have like change in colors of their leaves and then the leaves falling down um there's just a mama bird here and a little bit of apple so that's for that and move on to the november yeah you can see i'm still struggling with working with gua gouaches um yeah i wanted to draw a little bit of like whimsical um pink sky with the purplish cloud um and i think you can see that it's um cloud in the sky but i don't think it's not at all well done and november 4th is my birthday so i didn't do it by simply um francis draw a little bit like smiling cake on my birthday and our final page 
Um, so obviously this one is for December and this one's supposed to be the same tree um, as the a tree in our October and it's very obvious it's very Christmassy and it looks like clouds but it's supposed to be a snow I guess and a little snowman here so yeah this with this our little calendar project is done and while we have lots of fun working on this um, we had a um, little bit of complaint on this one because um, it's obviously like very 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 small it's like a little bit bigger than my palm and so it was really hard to put like can calendar and like everything on it and then while we loved working on painting part it's a little bit boring to work on calendar section so I was brainstorming what to do with our 2022 calendars searching like DIY calendar in Amazon and I found this so this one is obviously a calendar but um and it has like pre-drawn the calendar part and it does obviously does not have any like dates so um, we can use it at any point and here we have like this vast area uh, where we can like put our um, painting on um, so the idea was to like put pictures or like scrapbook pages something like that um, but we obviously may like paint as before or we may, we may put some photos on it if we are not in the mood um, of painting so and I'm, I'm a little bit like intimidated by the like this large space of an um, actual painting part because um, usually I work on small paintings like that is fit on my bullet journal or like smaller <laughs> paintings um, because I don't know like it seems like a lot of work so here's our flip through of our little calendar project i hope everyone is having the happiest new year stay because i believe this one's supposed to be posted on um the january the first or second so i hope everyone would have um wonderful 2022 Have a good day or a good night wherever you are and remember you guys are really beautiful in your own way bye